I'm Catherine Luke Taylor. Welcome to my studio. This is where I make my hand-built raccoon-fied ceramics, and this is how I make my wild Cornwall pots. I arrive at my studio eager to get my hands on some clay. Each morning I travel through the glorious Cornish hedgerows and see the countryside and colours changing daily. This has inspired me to make my wild Cornwall pots. I've always had a natural affinity to working with clay and specialise in using the coiling technique to create my ceramics. It's a slow and meditative process and I feel a connection to my African roots as I prepare my coils of clay. It's important to me to know that I'm using an ancient technique and have found my own intuitive way of using coils to build up the shape I want. I love the feel of clay in my hands as I lose myself in the process of coiling. One of the main things I love about Cornwall is the wildness of the landscape in the incredible turquoise sea. My connection with nature inspires my work. The wild Cornwall pots come from my love of the wild flowers scattered throughout the twisted thickets. Even in the midst of winter mist, the bright spots of yellow gorse make me smile. Making pots makes me happy and my studio is my happy place. I love spending time refining the shape until I've achieved a balanced and beautiful form, which will be a canvas for the colourful raku glazes I use. that my pots bring joy and beauty into people's lives and serve as a reminder of a special place and time spent in Cornwall. When the pot has been fired once, I'm ready to begin glazing. I mix all my own glazes and enjoy the freedom of painting and splashing them onto the pot, using my creative expression to evoke the wild beauty of the Cornish landscape. I take my time painting on the designs. Although I have an idea in mind of how I want the piece to look, you can never be sure how the glazes will react once fired, as they look so different at this stage. I chose to focus on raku, which is an ancient Japanese technique, 
as I love the unpredictability of the process and the magical results it produces. Raku basically means ease or enjoyment and it's changed a lot since Western potters have taken the technique and made it their own. It's finally time to place the pot in my Raku kiln, which I made myself. Raku is a magical and alchemical process, and I have to stay calm and focused to achieve a good result. It's a mix of intuition, spontaneity, and controlled accidents. Even after many years of Raku firing, I'm still thrilled and surprised to see how each piece comes out. nervous and excited to take the red hot pot out of the kiln and listen for the glaze to crackle as it cools a little before smoking in sawdust. It's so exhilarating taking the pot out of the sawdust. Cleaning it up and admiring the stunning results. I'm incredibly proud that one of my Wow Cornwall pots was featured on the BBC's The Great Pottery Throwdown and described as a perfect example of Raku. Mm -hmm. 